Hey there, time for another Vive video. Today I'm playing Destinations, which is actually by Valve, um, but also by a lot of other people on the workshop. Um, this particular title really lets you build your own environment. So as you can see here, I'm kind of in a virtual world, maybe the desert with some hills. Um, but if I just click the menu button, I have a huge amount of different items here. So let's just click on Anonymous and see what it does. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a scene with some people in those Anonymous masks. See it right there. So there's a person in an Anonymous mask, and we can teleport around. So there's a turret from Portal. There's that character in the Anonymous mask. There's a Mars rover. some cubes from Portal, and this seems to be in the environment of the Steam VR tutorial, kind of the sound stage that's that's in that Steam VR tutorial. And we can walk around and go in and out of that little test area. And that's pretty much it for this one. But if we go to Arcade Toss, does take a moment to load from each different environment here. There we go, Arcade Toss. So with Arcade Toss, there's Team Red and Team Blue. Um, obviously, I'm just myself. I, I can't be both teams. So I'm going to go ahead and pull to start. And I'll be Team Red. And we're tossing into these holes. Kind of like a uh, ski ball or one of those basket tossing games. But as you can see, it's a totally different environment. Gameplay that actually works with the counter. Pretty realistic physics. I was throwing a beach ball at least. <laughs> it's kind of like a giant oversized game from Pierhead Arcade or Carnival Games or something of that nature, but built right into Dimensions. Now, Dimensions is a, f or, I'm sorry, Destinations rather, is a free product. As was the lab, which was Val's initial foray into VR, at least that's been released. But pretty much everything here is workshop content. There are a couple of pieces that are developed specifically by Valve or other developers, but overall, let's toss those in there. And we want ourselves, is this a pony corn? Hippocorn? Something of that nature. Pretty cool stuff. So there's an Atlas demo scene. Looks pretty familiar. It's a lot like Wow. That's a pretty large Atlas. Um it looks a lot like the Atlas robot from Aperture Robot Repair in the lab. Betrayal here is a 
dying part is not guaranteed. Okay. Wow. I should probably run. Um, help? And I seem to have died. Oh well. It won't let me teleport there. Very strange. At any rate, that's the betrayal map. Um, I'm going to skip down to. There's a hedge maze. This one's a hedge maze on a beach, it looks like. I don't want to stay tilted in the wrong direction for very long, but. As you can see, I can work my way through a hedge maze. For some reason, the teleportation mechanics aren't necessarily perfect. And I found a spot in the maze that I'm trapped in now. Go to the right. Right is usually right, right? I seem to have turned myself directly around. Either way, that's the Hez Maze. I'm actually going to go over here so I can see a little bit more of the screen. You can also change your avatar, so you can actually see your avatar on the screen, make changes to it, add things. So I just dropped a barrel here, take a dice, roll it, but this is what I really want to do is pick a different scene. So we're going to take a look at the Valve Lobby. So this demo scene is made by Valve. It's a Hi, photogrammetry Valve. demo. I work at Valve. This is the lobby for our offices in Bellevue, Washington. In our work, we really value face-to-face -face collaboration, so we built our offices to support that. As you can you see that they're in Washington. You may notice the gifts from the community, awards we've won, and items related to our games and hardware products. Take a look around and let us know what you think. We've been giving tours of our real-world offices to fans for years, so if you find yourself in Seattle someday, please come by and say hello. So you can see where they're at in Seattle, Washington there. This is the elevator bay, fifth floor. If I go back here, there's some text narration. These are all magazines that feature their products, and what I think is awesome is you can actually walk down this wall and you can get up on these magazines, and it's fairly clear it's not perfect um, because it's a photogrammetry demo. Um, on this wall, though, the magazines look really good. Um, when we get to the awards over here, some of them not so great. Um, some of them look like they're in pieces at the top there because, again, it's photogrammetry, so it's not entirely perfect. One of my favorites over here is this G4 Video Game Awards World Champion Championship belt, and then there's like a gold medal right next to it. You can actually stand on this step stool at some of the awards on top. It's very creative and very well done. Um, obviously I want you to try it for yourself, so I'm not gonna stay here and dwell on it for too long. Let's see what's this? Press button to exit. I hope I don't have an emergency that I need to do that. 
and there's kind of a the key card readers don't seem to work so I can't get too far into this office so like if I try to go through this door over here I'm blocked um, but you can see all the way to the hallway if you get behind the receptionist's desk you can see kind of some dota stuff in the background here not really sure exactly what it is because of the photogrammetry there's it's almost like a half-life symbol lambda symbol from half-life counter strike mouse pad but i feel like i'm actually at the receptionist's desk so i can root through her garbage or his garbage it's pretty cool um and then of course as we go a little bit further down here there's a very awesome valve sign here um, which is actually of course in their lobby this tells you a little bit about it um, it was cut with a water jet which is awesome um, but just that just the presence of that is crazy um, of course the giant valve kind of the centerpiece of the lobby here and then some magazines on the table kind of tell you how dated this is no man's sky on the table eve valkyrie on the table battlefield one so it's not that old right um this right here is the Aegis of Champions. And then if we click, I think it might be this one, you can actually see the people holding up that shield as well, which is pretty cool. And then over here are some collectibles from the different games. I didn't realize that there was a portal board game until I saw this by Cryptozoic here. The main conference room has some frosted glass can't really peek under it, unfortunately. Gordon Freeman's there. That means Half-Life 3 is confirmed, right? A really cool guitar in the corner here. Valve Custom. And then just some of their characters. These are mostly Team Fortress 2 characters, obviously. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, extremely fun. I could spend hours exploring this lobby. I'd like to explore a little bit further down some of these hallways. But we're going to go ahead and dive out of that. As you can see, there's my virtual avatar. If I want to change him in any way, I can make myself an egghead, or a flathead, or a flat topped head, or a puck head, go with the default headset. And my hands, well, I can make them hands. Oh, maybe I should make them the other hands. Go back to controllers. And then there's the different props. There's a ball from that arcade game that we were just playing. So I can pick that up. And I can throw it. And it'll bounce off the walls. It's pretty cool. We'll try one more destination here. Just give you an idea of kind of the creativity you can have. This is the Princess's Castle from Super Mario, I believe, 64. We're not as fast as Mario, obviously. But it's pretty cool to be able to teleport around the castle. I don't think we can go into the castle. In fact, I don't think we can go any further than right here. We can go around it. And that's pretty much it. Um, but that just gives you an idea of what you can do with destinations. Um, there is a ton of content on the workshop. Uh, there's other games. There's the PT hallway from the PT demo that was only available for a short period of time on, I believe, PlayStation 4. Seattle gum wall. This is awesome. If you've been to Seattle, this wall is there. This is a preserved copy just from photogrammetry from March of 2005. Uh, 15. March of 2015. Um, but you can get up on this and, and actually see little chiclets box stuck to the wall some graffiti a TARDIS just all kinds of cool stuff 
Um, and again, there's a bunch of different things available here, free to explore. All of this content right now is free, which is awesome. There's other interactive games, other non-interactive parks as well. Let's see what the San Francisco is. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here, but okay. Looks like a tunnel of some form. Monica and Carlisle signed the wall. Not real sure what that is, um, but it's there, and that's pretty cool. So that's going to be it for this week. Um, just wanted to walk through destinations a bit, show folks a bit of a tour of what you can do in this application. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. It's a little bit slower paced than normal, but I enjoy watching this stuff, so hopefully you do too. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.